Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of by beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. It's been a long time since I had a full sale beer. The last time I had one was uh, in July of 2010 in Key West, Florida. Now it's December in upstate New York. And this is an appropriate Christmas themed beer. This is the full sale Wreck the Halls. 22 fluid ounces of Hoppy Holiday Ale. 6.5% ABV, kind of a long description, but it basically says it's a, a cross between an IPA and a winter warmer. So uh, it's pretty bitter too at 68 IBUs. So uh, let's get into this. Well, I mean, it looks like an IPA. Much darker though and hazy. Kind of like a brown color, slightly orange. Pretty hazy. Uh, can't see much carbonation there. I'm sure it's there though. Better finger of head, it's kind of like yellowish creamy. Definitely get the kind of West Coast hops. I mean, it said it's made with Centennial. So yeah, you are getting citrus, like the more lighter kind of citrus, more like the, like the pith or the rind or whatever. Kind of like flowers too, not like the intense juicy citrus. I get a little, little bit of spice in the nose. I mean, otherwise it just kind of smells. It smells like a West Coast IPA, but not as intense as your Stones or Green Flash or Racer Five or something like that. So, if it tastes as good as that, I'll be pretty happy. Cheers. It reminds me of, I think what they were going for here actually, or probably what inspired them was the Sierra Nevada celebration now, very much in the same vein. Uh, so it's like, yeah, it's it's kind of like a West Coast style single IPA up front. Like I get a lot of bitterness like right away. That dry, almost kind of a candy powdery type bitterness, maybe chalky, doughy bitterness. Um, and any other words I can think of. On the back end, I get all East Coast. Very resonant, very piney. Similar to like what you get in a wet hop IPA, but not not to that extent. Yeah, I get a little more sweetness now that I'm paying attention. Not much. I mean, it's not like a sticky or like super confectionery sweetness. It's just more of a, you know, kind of like a very well-balanced IPA. More like in the East Coast style. Um, so yeah, so it's plenty of kind of that, uh, maybe English type, uh, barley notes they're going for. Um, you know, as far as, they I mean, made a point of saying a hybrid of American IPA and winter warmer. Um, I don't really get a lot of, you know, winter warmer qualities. Like, winter warmers you just tend to get cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg or, you know, like those Christmas cookie spices. Don't really get that here, just... It's just more like a very well-balanced IPA. Um, yeah, so far so good. Um, I've got a lot of beer left and time to kill, so we'll take a break and come back with my final thoughts on the Wreck the Halls. Alright, let's write this thing. I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10. It's a very good beer. I kind of have... My only criticism of it would be that it doesn't really live up to what the label says of hybrid of American IPA and Winter Warmer. I mean, it's just straight-up American IPA. That being said, it's a really well-balanced American IPA because you get West Coast and East Coast, you know, components in here, plus a little bit of, like, a British IPA. We get, like, that kind of English, you know, slightly fruity, kind of marmalade, confectionery sweetness in there. It's 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 quite mild. But um, other than that, I mean, it's really well-balanced. You're getting a little bit of citrus, a little bit of pine. None of them, you know... Oh, outshine the other, you know, other flavors or whatever. Um, it's a very drinkable beer. It's got that kind of nice, 
a little thicker than your average IPA, but less crisp. Uh, very, very smooth, nice, soft, creamy texture to it. Goes down easy. Hops definitely linger here. You know, it said it's 68 IBUs. It, it feels like a little bit more bitter than that. It's a great beer to have with, uh, you know, like any kind of dinner, really, or sharp cheddar cheese. It's not, you know, don't go into this thing it's going to be like a winter warmer or a nightcap, like the last couple Christmas beers I reviewed. Nothing like that at all. It's basically, you know, West Coast. Well, West Coast IPA, it's very well balanced. So, um, yeah, plenty of flavor. Pretty fun to drink. And, uh, you know, just a good overall beer. Very good, I might say. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. For Full Sail, Wreck the Halls. So, that does it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.